Creating WP data tables from CSV files. CSV file, uh, where CSV stands for comma separated values, uh, is a very, uh, very popular format of exchanging table data. A reason of its, its popularity is, of course, its simplicity because uh, it's basically a simple plain text file where cells are separated by commas. That's why it's called comma separated values and rows are separated by line breaks. Uh, of course, WP data tables supports it as well because many uh, different software produces tables in this format and it's very convenient to, to use it to create tables in WordPress frontend. Uh, in this example, we prepared the simple uh, CSV file, which will be used, we will use in our tutorial. You can download this file from our demo site. Basically, it's a table with, uh, with several columns and rows. So it has columns company, creation date, earlier value, phone number, uh, where first one is string, second one is date, third one is float, and last one is a phone number, which we can, uh, we can, which we can use as a string. So it won't be, uh, won't be reformatted in any different way. So as you see, we already prepared the file. Uh, you can use your software or LibreOffice or Excel or whatever, all of them can export data in CSV format. And that is basically the first step. Prepare the data set, prepare your CSV file. Uh, save it somewhere where you can easily find it. And then we can go to WP Data Tables to create a table. So we can go to WordPress admin, open WP Data Tables add from data source, or from the browse page, we can click add new, which is basically doing the same thing. First, we can define the table title because uh, this is necessary to identify the table later because the tables will be all unnamed. We will not be able to see which is, uh, which is what is what. Uh, then we need to ch choose the table type which will be the CSV file, of course, in our case, and then go ahead and upload the file, which we just prepared. It was called CSV table example.csv. Just go ahead, open, it's uploaded, and we just need to click using WP data table. Now the file is uploaded, it's got the link, but uh, as you see, there are only settings for the table and no settings for the columns for now, because uh, WP data tables didn't read the file yet. Once we click save, it will uh, go ahead, read the file, uh, get the column structure, some metadata, will try to guess uh, the column types. Uh, not always correctly, but in most of the cases, yes. And okay, so we just click save. The page is reloading which means it successfully read the file, could understand the structure and prepared the table. And you see here, here you go. We have all our, uh, our columns, company, creation date, yearly revenue, phone number. Uh, it didn't guess correctly the format of creation date. So we need to specify it manually. For yearly revenue, it guessed that it's a float. For phone number, it defined a string, which is fine for us. So we just go ahead and click save once again to remember uh, the change in the column type. And we can then click preview to see how the table will look in the front end. Preview usually goes a little bit slower than uh, actual table in the front end or on the WordPress page. But here you go, you can see uh, it defined the dates correctly, uh, it's sorted already by the company name, so you can use all the, uh, you can sort by all the columns, even by phone number, though it doesn't make sense because it sorts alphabetically. Uh, let's do some fine tuning uh, for creation date, I guess it makes sense to define filter type as a date range. And for the yearly revenue, we can define as a number range. And also because it stands for 
currency, we can set the display text before as the dollar sign. It means that all the cells in the column will show this text uh, in front of them, but this text would not affect sorting in any way. Uh, so it will still float, cor uh, sort correctly as floats, but we'll have a dollar sign in front of each number, so you see. And we can now also sort by, uh, by dates and creation date, which is also very convenient. So we can say that our table is successfully configured. And now we can take this short code, copy it and paste in our post or page. Or we can go ahead and create a new post or page and call it some, something like CSV video demo. And say like, here is our nice table. We place our course cursor where we want the table to be, and then we find the a WPA tables logo. We click it, and then we just need to find the table that we created, which is the last one, CSV video tutorial. Click OK, and it inserts the short code. We don't need even to copy, remember it. We just go ahead, click publish, and then we click on view page to see how the page looks in the front end. You see here is our nice table and here is the table with all the filters uh, and everything already applied. So it's very easy I'd say. So you just prepare the CSV file, upload it, define a couple of options, settings which you don't have to do but it just took some fine tuning and insert the table in the WordPress front end and your front-end users can use it as they want. So thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.